today, we're going to learn one of the most important things we can do in life. We're going to learn about forgiveness and the story of Easter. Okay, our little friend Boz is going to help us learn about forgiveness. What's forgiveness? Can anyone tell him? Joseph. Is it when someone does something bad? Yes. But you tell them it's okay because it doesn't matter? Well, what they did can still be a bad thing, but forgiveness is when you choose to stop having bad feelings towards them. Even if what they did was really bad? Even then. Boz, I need you to go back 2,000 years to the Roman Empire, to a city called Jerusalem. Okay, see you soon. We're going to learn about a man who is treated as badly as you could possibly imagine. Betrayed by his friends, beaten up, tortured and even put to death. But he still forgives. But don't worry, the story has a happy ending. <laughs> that man is called Jesus of Nazareth. He has helped many people and taught them about God. What are they shouting? Jesus is king. A king riding a donkey? He doesn't need a fancy horse to get respect. Why are they throwing their clothes on the ground? For his donkey to walk on. They must really love him. They do, but that makes the local priests scared and angry with him. Boz, fly over to the local temple. Hola. These men are powerful. But because they feel scared of Jesus for being so popular, they want him dead. Who's that? Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' disciples. Does that mean he's one of his friends? Yes. What have they given him? 30 pieces of silver. Money? To betray his friend and help those priests get Jesus arrested. Boz, travel forward in time. I want you to follow that man. Judas Iscariot. That night, Jesus had a meal for all of his followers, the disciples. What's he saying? That he is going away to be with his father in heaven. That would make him the son of God. That's right. And he says that one of them in the room will betray him. Boz, I need you to follow Judas again. Skip forward a few hours to a place called the Garden of Gethsemane. Judas, the traitor. They're going to arrest Jesus. Right. Balls to the rescue. Oh, 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 oh. Are you okay? I think so. Oh, no. They're taking him away. Skip forward to sunset. Oh, no. They're taking him away. Skip forward to sunset on the next day to a hill outside Jerusalem called Calvary. Oh, no. Too late. Beaten, spat on, humiliated made to wear a crown of thorns. Because they called him a king? That's right. They even put a sign on his cross saying, this is the king of the Jews. But despite all of that, he still forgave them. He said in a prayer, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He died on that cross. Oh, that is so sad. Yes, but the story doesn't end there. Boz, Skip forward in time to three days later, to the tomb of Jesus. Okay. After Jesus died, his friends brought his body here. So, where is it? There. Whoa. Wow! No way, he's alive again! Amazing! The Bible tells us that on the third day after his death, Jesus came back to life, exactly as he had promised his friends meeting his followers before he went to heaven. I love a happy ending. <laughs> so, why is it important that we learn to forgive? Because it makes life better when you can start afresh. And get along with people. I'm back. Ow! You can turn hatred into love. That's right, Boz. Sorry. Forgive me. <laughs>